How to be a hockey player. Follow these steps and you too can be like us. Step one, buy skates and learn how to use them. More importantly, learn how to stop. Nobody wants to be that guy who can't turn around every time the puck changes direction. Step two, buy a stick, but not a $50 department store stick, the most ridiculously expensive stick you can find. Don't worry about breaking it. There's limited warranty for a reason. Step three, now buy the rest of your pads and equipment and enjoy the fresh smell of new gear, which will last for about five seconds after you put it on. Step four, know what kind of hockey player you are. The sniper, the dangler, the goon, the girl, the rookie, the soccer player, or the one with too much team spirit. Let's skate hard, let's move the puck, let's get in Step there. Step five, team. it's called beer league for a reason. Enjoy a beer in the change room, on the bench, on the ice, and between whistles. Oh, hey, ref, you spilled my beer, man! However, use caution and avoid becoming the one who is often belligerently drunk on the bench. Oh, come on, ref! They suck! Stop blowing the whistle and say it again! Step seven. Learn basic hockey player jargon such as the following. Dangles, snipes, selly, flow, butte, chirp, twig, wheel, chell, bender, dusty, clapper, gino, apple. Step eight. Practice makes perfect. Mess up your garage door by practicing your shots every day. Step nine. Always talk about that time you played Junior B. Remember that one time in Junior B when you got beat up? Remember back in Junior B when I got traded to Saskatoon? Do you remember back in Junior B when I... Shut up! Step 10. Every hockey player loves to brag about their scars. Yeah, I got this one in Pee Wee when my lining hit me as a clapper. I got this in Bands in AAA when I took a high stick. Yeah, I totally would have made the chell if it didn't blow my knee in midget. Step 11. Find ways to entertain yourself when you aren't playing, such as recreating classic games on your video game system. Step 12. Remember the post-game shower never gets rid of the stench. There is no such thing as too many showers. Step 13. Learn how to pronounce difficult NHL player names such as the following. Dustin Befuglin, Branko Radivikus, Steve Izerman, Cloud Clatterbuck, Kershaw Lava, Pekka Rin, and Alexander Seaman. Step 14. Call your jersey a sweater. Wear it with pride. Baby it and wear it everywhere. Step 15. Methodically wash the Zamboni driver, clean the ice between periods. Step 16. Learn how to prank the rookies, such as putting sock tape on the bottom of their skates or unscrewing the cap of their water bottle. Step 17. Get comfortable with your teammates slapping your butt. Nothing says good job like another man's hand on your ass. Get used to accidentally walking on the ice with your skate guard still on. Step 19. Learn how to chirp. Hey Tendi, I've seen coupons say more than you. I've heard better chirps from a dead bird. Step 20. Know how to efficiently identify the biggest douche on the ice, the guy with the tinted visor. Step 21. Many hockey players require extra dental work. To save time and expenses, become your own dentist. Step 22. Always forget your roll of hockey tape at home. Then pester your teammates to borrow theirs. Hey, does anyone have some tape? Step 23. Learn how to deal with your tape after games by being environmentally friendly or by practicing your free throws. Step 24. Refer to every goal as a butte. What a butte, bud. You pass, bro. That was a beautiful. Step 25. Dedicate yourself to maintaining your flow. Remember, it's a part of you. Step 26. Nothing is ever your fault. Blame everything on the refs. Yeah, f***ing Bush League stripes, eh? Get off your knees, you're blowing the game. F***ing Google me. Three games, Junior B. It was probably their fault anyways. Learn how to pick up chicks, or as hockey players like to call it, wheeling broads. Hey, I'm in town with my dub team. I'm only here for the weekend, so uh, can I get your Snapchat? Step 28. Figure out a way to deal with your car stench by either apologizing to everyone who gets in your car. Just a heads up, I got wet gear in the back, so I hope you don't mind the smell. Straight denial. I don't smell anything. It's probably just you. Or multiple air fresheners. Step 29. Get used to wearing wet gear, but don't forget to take it out of the car on those cold winter nights. Nobody wants to thaw out a frozen jock strap. And finally, remember hockey is all about having fun, meeting new people, and sportsmanship. Good game. Good game. You. Good game. What did we miss? Leave a comment in the comment section below. We want to extend a big thank you to Hockey Community for making this video happen. Hockey Community is an awesome social network for hockey players. If you want to play more hockey, search Hockey Community in the App Store, on the web, or in the description below.